Time to begin. Needs more red. out of that square. Okay, let's go! Enemy spotted! Coming at ya! There you go. Shit's annoying, man. Good job. Let's get this started! Make room, Eric! Oh shit, got him. What? Booyah! Little penny in the ass. <laughs> yeah! Preliminaries! Check! Not too bad. Lost three people. Good job. <sighs> Hold your fire. We surrender. That's the match. Winners. Class G. It's like I'm dreaming. We actually won. Woo! We did it! Supreme victory! <laughs> nice going, Avon. We made it through the prelims. That was just a warm-up. You certainly took your time. We won, didn't we? Just man up and admit you were wrong about us. Class A put the slackers in Class C out in three minutes yesterday. Three. You beat the guys we just fought in three minutes? No way. Ha! <laughs> we got ourselves a real commander! She's going to be the head of the Everhart family. They're all geniuses. There's no chance of anyone beating us with Juliana at the helm. Listen carefully. Victory in war depends on an able-minded commander. Without a talented leader to guide them, soldiers are useless, wasted pawns. It's only in the hands of a master that those pawns are able to win victory. Pawns? How can you talk about your squad that way? It's an apt metaphor. I'm certain your brother felt the same about his men. No way. Not Leon. No matter how brilliant the commander, a weak squad is still weak. I don't recall asking your opinion, Darkson. My name is Zeri. And nothing more. Darkson's lost their last names because of their crimes. That you even presume to address me is an insult to the Everhart name. 
Class G was successful today because Yvonne brought each of our talents out. I sincerely doubt you could have done the same had you been in command. How dare you! Mark my words, Darkson. Try your best to stay afloat until you face us. I will personally relish the crippling, humiliating defeat I inflict upon you. Wow, man. I'm kind of surprised to hear you stick up for me. I wasn't. My intention was to communicate your incompetence. Knowing we can't rely on you means we all have to scramble to compensate. What? You snarky little jerk! Hey! Give me back my glasses! Guys! Come on! We just won! Stop fighting! We'll see about that. Who's floating face up or whatever she said? Whatever. Generations, House Rand Grease has concealed their darksome blood from the good people of Galia. Are we to place the fate of our nation in the hands of these imposters? No! We must unite in the face of this oppression and restore hope to our people! Together, we will wipe the darksons from our land! Fellow countrymen, I hold the power to lead us down the one true path. Galia will bask in the cleansing light of the Valkyria. And by that light, be reborn! Your harangues never fail to stoke the blaze in my heart, Count Gassanal. Ah, Ambassador Townsend, my thanks for arranging that little shipment. Think nothing of it. The pleasure is mine to have been of service. I pray our partnership will continue to thrive. Father, you mustn't allow this Federation Viper to seduce you with promises. Watch your tongue, boy. <laughs> What perfect Galia can be built, except by the hands of her people? I do not know your intent in coming here, but I bid you leave Galia at once! Baldrin, stop this! The spark of revolution would have died long ago, if not for Federation aid. Do not think our successes this far have been your doing alone. Apologies, Ambassador. My son is in ill command of his tongue. Oh, not at all, good Count. I am certain he will one day lead the revolution. His proud bearing and fiery passion are virtues both. I am greatly relieved to hear you say it. Now, with your leave, I'll be on my way. Until the next War Council, Count. He has no eyebrows. Weird. Do calm down, Baldrin. You'll make yourself ill. Audrey, then you see no problem with this. The Federation intends to use us to pull Galia under its influence. Without them, we lack the resources to continue the fight. We need simply to use them more thoroughly than they use us. Just so. And what we need now are men of reason, not passion. Pragmatists. Learn from your sister's example, and get used to dealing with the Feds. With your leave. <sighs> that boy! I've no idea where he gets his damnable stubbornness. His father, of course. From where I stand, you two make a fine pair. You are excused, my dear. <laughs> it's almost time for my evening prayers, anyway. Impossible as her brother in her own right. Dirk, collect Baldrin and come to my chambers. I have orders for you. Understood. Beep. <laughs> we have a new transfer arriving today. Avon, bro! 
I totally followed you here. Who the hell are you? My name's Pete Stang. Like a Mustang or a Bee Stang. Yeah! Pete Stang, Shark Trooper, join the squad. Okay. To begin, here is today's news. I have a new award to pass on to all of you. Bronze Arms of Gallia. Kicking their ass. Man, the music changed. Listen up! Advanced classes and credits. Each class has advanced versions that have stronger abilities or are able to use more powerful equipment. You can change to an advanced class at the drill grounds, but you need credits to do so. Credits are awarded to units that perform well in battle. There are five main types. This must be about how to change your class, but anyway. Such as those for marching and support. Credits will be given to units that make a contribution such as defeating an enemy, healing an ally, or capturing a camp. Uh, yeah. Units that make a special contribution will be recognized as the top runner-up contributor and receive more credits. Earn as many credits as you can to change units to more powerful classes. I try, damn it. <clears throat> you can change a unit's class more than once, as long as you save up enough credits. Got it? If I see any screw-ups, it's 100 laps. <laughs> Good! You're here! I still can't do it, can I? Nope. Certificate. Okay, so I need... Merch X. Another level. Let's see if there's new crap to buy at the R and D building. Yo. Good What's up? What's up? I've been analyzing data from class G, <laughs> and I figured out how to develop a new weapon. <laughs> Serious Lavinia? Levine Man, we'll be unstoppable now. Tier three. Yo! Tank armaments. Tanks are the strongest units with weapons far more powerful than the infantry. So here are three examples. First, anti-armor rounds. These are very effective against armored units such as other tank turrets. They also don't have limited ammunition like anti-tank lenses. The second example is mortars. These can be used to attack units in a wide area. Okay, mortars have limited ammunition. Plunged by engineers. Last is Gatling guns. These are fitted besides the tank's main gun and are <coughs> fitted are very effective against infantry. They fire fewer shots than shock trooper machine guns, but can be reloaded quickly for continuous interception fire. Very useful for stopping the enemy from breaking through when holding a defensive line. Yep. As development progresses, Gatling turns that replace the main gun will appear. These are very deadly against infantry. As you can see, tanks have many uh, firepower advantages, so if you face difficulties, try employing some different tank tactics. Follow that, try not to forget. Right you. Yo! Again, special weapons. Uh, materials and blueprints. Yeah, materials and blueprints. You may receive materials when you complete a mission, depending on your performance. Blueprints can be attained by defeating enemy aces on the battlefield. Yeah. Names of aces appearing in each mission are written in the mission information. Take a look before you deploy. These special weapons have unique effects such as lowering the attack power of enemies but can't be mass produced. You will need to develop enough for each unit you want to equip with them. Yeah, you gotta get the materials and blueprints.